Hey, Simple Church hey, Simple fam, Church. what is up? Welcome back online. Dude, we're back. We're back. We're back, and you're back, and we're so glad to be hanging out. We have a new series starting uh, that Tom's going to be sharing with us. I'm excited. It's, no, I'm uh, excited, too. It's, it's going to be good. Yeah. And speaking of the message today, as always, they can grab the notes by texting. It's going to be right here, somewhere. 515-500-2959. Yeah. Yeah. Notes. Notes. N-O-T-E-S N-O-T-E-S to that. Number. Number. But before we get into that, as always, we like to have fun. We like to have fun. We like to have fun. And I've got I've got another challenge for us this yeah. morning, dude. Yeah, so thanks for um, tuning in. Yeah. Early. Uh, so we're gonna play a game called the Backwords Challenge. Backwards challenge. Backwords challenge. I like it. So we're each gonna be challenged with a different word. And then we've got an app on our phones. Okay. You've got your phone with you. I do. And we're gonna record ourselves saying the words. Backwards. We're going to try to say it backwards as best we can. And then this app will reverse it, and whoever comes closest to the word gets a point. So they decide in the chat who comes closest? Well, yeah, I think you decide, but we'll also, we'll also you know, kind we'll of decide, kind of, okay. we'll kind of decide too. Right, sure. But maybe they'll out. But no bias. Us. No bias. Okay, at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's, do a, let's just do a practice round. Okay, uh, great. Let's, do our, let's just do our names. Okay, you do nice. your name, I'll do my name, and just kind of see... You know, if we so I have it. to say my name backwards. Yeah, so here. like and you we, would be saying, how would you say Aaron backwards? Right. All right. So I'm gonna. So mine's brand done. All right. All but right. we. But each each word, we only get one shot. You don't get well, to record okay. it and All then right. try to go again. All right. Okay? Cool. Cool. So here, I'll. All right. You go first. I'll go first. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna. I think this is how it's done, but I don't know. Well, we'll find <laughs> out. Nod narm. Okay, should I play it? Yeah, play it. All right, let's see. Brandon. Brandon. Dude, that was pretty close, <laughs> pretty man. Yeah, right, let's let me see, try, let me let's try, see let me how try. you do. You see how you do. Nora. <laughs> Aaron. Oh, Dude, you got it. Nice. Aaron. Way to go. Aaron. So you're Nora, and I'm not Nora. Yeah. <laughs> Nora Nadnar so, here. So anyway, that's how we say our name. So we're gonna we have some words um, that we're gonna be going. I actually haven't seen these before, as usual. I yep. had my wife come up with them, so Maybe I wouldn't be coming practicing. In Neither of us would be practicing. No, but, of course. All right. So our first word is gumball. 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 Okay. Why not? Since I went first, you go first. Okay. Cool. One. We'll go back and forth. So wait. So you gotta say so gumball. We each do back. the word once. Yes. You don't get. Man. You get one try. One try. You don't get a key. Should we try to do it at the same time so we don't like? No, no, no. Okay, no, okay. Because I, you might be wrong. If I copy you and it's okay. wrong, right. then I don't. Well, then we're right. both, so there is a little advantage yeah, going, yeah. going. All right. Yeah, that's why we'll go back and forth. Gumball. Wow. Gum. <laughs> just do it. Ball. <laughs> just try. Okay. It. All right. Just I got it. I got it. Just, just try. It. Lab mug. Ah, dude, that's what I was kind of thinking. Don't hit. Don't hit play yet. Don't hit play yet. Okay. Did you, did you, okay, you're good. All right, All right here we go. Lab mug. Oh, I think you said you, I think you said yours better. All right. Okay, you play first. Okay, here you we play go. play first. Gumball. That was pretty good. Gumball. That was pretty good. All right, let's see, let's see. Gumball. Oh. What do you think, dude? What do you think? Gumball. Oh. Oh, we both, oh, I think we both got it. That was pretty good. I think all we right. both got it. All right, we, we, got, we, got, right, we each great, got right. a point on that one. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. All right. The next word is silverware. 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 Silver. <laughs> all right, I'll go first on this one. Where? Silver. And here, here, you can see it too, since I'm getting kind of a okay, yeah. bandage seeing it. All right, silverware. Dude, I don't <laughs> say this one. Ear, ear, silver, silver, relic. Rip. There's people this. who can like really do this really good. Have you seen I, those videos? No. <laughs> There's videos on YouTube of people like they can talk backwards uh, really well. <laughs> silver wear. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna so screw this up, dude. All right. Oh my gosh. Aerolivis. Aerolivis. Dude, that's not even. That's not that's gonna. It. Dude, okay. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay. 
our world lives. I don't know. Okay, okay. I, I played first last time. Okay. Right? All right, so you play first. All right, first. here we go. Whoa! Oh, yeah, let's dude. hear it one more time. I kind of had a ding on my phone here. That's pretty good, man. Still, oh, dude, I'm not feeling too confident. All right, now. let's hear it. Let's all, hear it. Right, all right. Similarly. <laughs> Similarly. <laughs> I think you got that one. All right, all right. All right point, for take, point for point for point for All right, next why, word. Hey, why don't you? Why don't we? Uh, we don't want to be disturbed. Oh yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna turn off my do not disturb. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Tulip. 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 Alright, got it. Ready? No, oh, wait, I go I go oh, first on okay, this one. Yeah, I right. go first on this one. Tulip. Tulip. Oh wait, Seven. I'm playing. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Pill. All right, I'm ready. Hey, loot. Ah, uh, dude, I think you're. Ah, oh, man, you're making me nervous. Man. All right, here we go. Here's mine. Finale. <laughs> Not even close, bro. There you go. Not even close. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't think either of us got that one, no, man. That was hard. That was a hard one. That's harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That one would be easier. Yeah, I that know, right? That was not very easy. <laughs> All right. All right, here's the next one. Oh, man. Volunteer. Ugh. Volunteer. Vol By the way, shout out to you. If you're on the dream team, just shout out to you. Thanks for making things happen. Comment in the Volunteers. In the Volunteers. We, we love you, dream team. Yeah. But the word is volunteer. 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 And you got to go first on this one. Okay. Tear? E? E? No. Okay. Alright. Ready? Retail love. <laughs> Volunteer. Re okay. <laughs> Retail love. Ooh, Retail love. Yeah, let's see. Alright. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. Volunteer. Alright, let's see. Volunteer. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. You tell us. You tell us. <laughs> I kind of missed the the tear, right. but the rest of it was pretty good. Pretty dude. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Somehow I missed that. Like, I don't know. What do you, you think? decide? What do you think? I don't know. I think, I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, great. All right, well, we you just decide. got it. Well, you decide. Oh, you got it. No, you got it. Oh, thanks, man. But no, we can each, you can tie. If you, did right. we each get a point right, on that sure. one? Sure, tie. Yeah. All right, sweet. We each got a point. We're not keeping score anyways. Yeah. Let's just have fun. All right, the next one is. Oh, we're kind of keeping score. Oh my gosh, this one's going to be hard. Torch. 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 And did I, I, I went first on the last one, right? Okay, ready? Are you going first? Sure. I don't remember who. No, went. I, I went first that last okay, one. Okay, so I got to go first. Torch. Orch, shrut. Okay. <laughs> hey, shrut. All right. He shrut. Okay. All right. Okay. You. All right. Go no, you go first. All right. Here we go. No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not right, even right, close, ready? man. Ready? No oh, shit. Uh, so, uh, try to get charged. I don't know, man. All right, ready? Torch. I don't think you That's like a hex that saying one. torch. All right, here we got, a, we got a couple more. We got a couple more. All right. Puppet. 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 You got to go first on this one. Puppet. Pup puppet. Puppet. All right, got it. Tip up. Puppet. Tip up. Okay. Tip up. Okay, go ahead and play it. All right. Uh, oh, I think, I, I, think uh, I can count that. Let's see All if right. we... Uh, I, I feel pretty good about that one. Puppet. 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 Oh. Puppet. Uh, you, you, 
Let us know. What do you think? You guys be the judge. You be the judge. Yeah. I think we both did pretty that good on that pretty one. Good, not bad. All right. All right. Next one. All right. Let's do a bit. Uh, coupon. Coupon. Dang it! I gotta do this one first. Coupon. Okay, I'm just going for it. Ready? Here we go. Nap goop. <laughs> Dang it! My laugh is gonna be in there too. Nap hook. I think you got it. I kind of failed at the end there. Coupon. Ooh, not bad. I had the right idea, but I messed it up. I see. Ah, oh, that was point, pretty good. Bro. That That's was pretty you. good. You for sure got that one. Coupon. Coupon. <laughs> All right. Uh, trash can. Trash, trash can. can. You're first on this one. Ooh, and trash then we'll do like. Can. Rat. <laughs> Nack. Go for it. You can't. No. Okay. All right. Just go for it. All right. Nack. Rat. <laughs> Dang it. <Can't>. Sure. <laughs> Nack Shrat. Ooh, yeah, I think you I don't know, man. Right, let's see. <laughs> that was pretty close. That was pretty close. That's pretty close. Arish can. Arish can? Arish can. All right, hear it again. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think I got it? God. No, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I was close. An Irish can is an Irish. Quite, an Irish can. Irish can. All right. What? Oh, like yeah. two, two, three more? Yeah, three. Yeah. Okay. We'll Look, see where we're right. gonna All do. Right. Simple church. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to keep All that fine. simple. All right. Um, let's do blimp. 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 Ooh, blimp. Blimp. This is your turn first, right? Oh, dang it! It is. <laughs> Pimilp. Dude, just go. Just go. Just go. Go for it. Go for it. Pimilp. <laughs> you did like a P, man. All right, I want to hear your first. Right. I want to hear yours. Right. I want to hear yours. Blimmy. Not even close. Blimmy. Man. I gotta wait to. I gotta wait to laugh until you're like. You I know. know. Yeah, every time mine starts to laugh. Blimmy. <laughs> Blimmy. That was close. I don't know if that's close enough. It's <laughs> like, let's give that one to you. You got that. Oh, right. thanks, man. You're welcome. All right, next one, Whiplash. Ooh. Whiplash, this is you. Whip. Whiplash. Whip. Whip. Lash. Whip. Yeah. Whip. Lash. All right, go. Shalp. Shalp. Whoop. <laughs> Whip. Lash. I don't know. How should be? Dang it, why do All I right. keep laughing? All right, here you go. Ooh, oh, I was close. I was Ooh, close. Nice. Mine's not gonna pretty be. Close. Mine's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna <laughs> play that again. <laughs> All right, let's All see right. if I can get. Did you. What? Did you get that one? Yeah. Try, try it again, try it again, try it again. No, no. What? I'm not giving it to you, dude. Listen, listen. Ooh, okay, the question Ooh, you have to ask. Is well, let's hear yours. Mine was terrible. I didn't get it. Well, aren't we picking the better of the no, most terrible? No, you have to get it. You have to get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. No point award. No points. All right. You pick. You pick our last word. Last word. Our last word. Um. Password. Password. All right. What you're, is the password? Then you're 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 first. All right. Password. Dwarf. Door will sap. All right. Dro sap. Ooh, a little faster, huh? All yeah, right, I don't right. know. I think I maybe went too fast. Password. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Password. Password. All right, one more time. Password. 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 I did. I'll, just, I'll give it to I'll give it to both of us. All right, that thanks. <laughs> we want to end on a good. Everybody wins. But tell us what you think. How do we do? What was your favorite word? Yeah. Maybe a word that you want to do backwards. What's your name backwards? Put it in the chat. We're Ooh. excited to. 
hang out today. Totally. Worship with you guys. We've got an amazing service ahead of us. So glad you joined us early. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be here again. This is something we do every Sunday, 15 minutes before. We'll be hanging out for some pre-service fun. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, can't wait to hang with you guys in the chat. Love you. Love you. See you there. Peace. Good morning, church. Hey, it's great to come together online and continue to grow with one another and lift each other up and just do life together, you know? This is a place where we gather together to praise the God who created us, how awesome he is, who through him, all things are possible. And even though we got caught up in our earthly passions and abandoned him and sinned against him, even then, he showed us a love of which there is none greater by dying for us. And through that perfect love, he removed all of our transgressions now and forever to those who believe in him. So we celebrate that we are forgiven and back into relationship with him. Our sin is dead and gone, and we can now live in the true freedom he desires for his children. So let's say hallelujah to that, and let's praise him together this morning. Come on. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. For nothing that you shed your blood So I'm gonna live like my shame is gone I won't be shackled to the way I was Oh, I'm gonna live like my chains are gone Gone Now my sin is dead and gone And I sing hallelujah Praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon that will overcome. So I'm gonna shout like the battle's won. Fall back, devil, cause your time is up. Oh, I'm gonna live like the stone is gone. Gone. Now my sin is dead and gone. And I sing hallelujah. Here we go. How great. How great. The power of the blood. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 yeah. I am the righteousness of God. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Sing done, done, done. He is risen and he's done, and I sing hallelujah. Let's sing that again. Come on, go on.
In the darkness, we were waiting without hope, without light. Till from heaven you came running, there was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the law and prophets. To a virgin came the word. From a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt. Praise the Father. Praise the Son. Praise the. The lost to redeem the whole creation, you did not despise the cross. For even in your suffering, you saw to the other side, knowing this was our salvation. Jesus, for us, thank you, died. Praise the Father. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one, God of glory, majesty, praise forever to the Till that stone was moved for good, for the Lamb had conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe. And the souls of all who'd come to the Father are restored. And the church of Christ was born, and the Spirit lit the flame. Now this gospel truth of all shall not kneel, shall not faint. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ, who has resurrected me. Praise the Father, come on. Praise the Father. Praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one, God of glory, majesty, praise forever to the King of kings. Simple Church, so glad to be gathered together online. My name is Amanda DeWitt, and before we jump into our brand new series on one of the most powerful prayers you could ever pray, I've got two things to celebrate. First, Mother's Day was awesome. The response from each each one of you was absolutely touching, and not just the messages to the mom, but also the incredible outpouring of commitment to support single moms through single parent provision. So in case you don't remember or you weren't with us, we had a 24-hour text in and Simple Church 
was going to give $5 for each text in to single moms. So I'm excited to share that we are sending $460 to single parent provision just for that 24 hour text in. So way to go church. It will be so wonderful to hear from single parent provision how they are doing and how they are able to bless single moms during this strange time. And the second thing I wanna celebrate is the way God has been moving through prayer in our church. So if you received one of these 520 cards in the mail, we hope that you've been cultivating a prayer life this month. Prayer really, really works. And I wanted to share this email as an encouragement. Dear Simple Church, thank you so much for your prayers. I've been praying for my friend who is very lost. Every conversation is a fight and it's been hard to watch us drift apart. Last night though, I felt like I should call them and we ended up talking for like two hours about God being good and everything that's going on and it was really nice. I'm still praying they find Jesus, but happy to be able to talk to them again. And then the sincerely. So how awesome to be making a kingdom impact, maybe even an eternal impact through our prayers. So if you wanna jump in, pray with us this May. You can grab one of these 520 cards and lots of other free resources at simple.church. So now I'm gonna turn it over to our good friend, Gordon, and pause to give back. Hello, church family. My name is Gordon, and it is great to be gathered together with you online again today. I hope that these Sunday services have been a blessing and a breath of fresh air for all of you, like they have been for me and my family as we've watched them together at home. Our heart as a church family is to ensure that there is no fear in this family and to share the love of Jesus to our community and beyond. It's your time, talent, and treasures that make this happen. So thank you for your love and support. Even during times like these, you can see God working all around us. He never stops working and we feel blessed and excited to be used by God to help do his work. In a moment, we'll have a great message, but first, let's take a moment to give back. We have two simple ways to give digitally. First, you can give through our website at simple.church and click give, or you can text by, uh, uh, give by texting the word simple to 77977. Again, text the word simple, S-I-M-P-L-E, to 77977 and follow the link to give via text. If you'd like to give another way, like by mail, you can head to the website at simple.church slash give and check out the info that we have for you there. Thank you again for the ways in which you support the vision of Simple Church to connect people into life-changing relationships, not only with Jesus, but with each other. I'd like to share a verse from Hebrews chapter 13, 16 as we go into our time of offering. And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Let's pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you and praise you for all the blessings that you've given us. And just especially at times like these that it brings into sharp focus, just all the ways that you have blessed us. As you look at everything going on in the world around us, Lord, we know that you are at work, that your hand is in all of it, and that you will take all things and make them work to your glory, Lord. So we just pray for this time together that you would speak to our hearts, that you would help to transform our lives to be more like your son, Jesus, in whose name we pray, amen. All right, prayer. All earthly things with earth will fade away, but prayer grasps eternity. But I'm convinced of this, God does not hear prayer. He hears desperate prayer. Prayer is not a position, whether you need Prayer is not a position, it's a disposition. You get to the place where you'd rather sweat, you'd rather weep in his presence than laugh in anybody else's presence. You'd rather God whisper a secret into your heart that breaks you. And somebody give you the prizes that all the world covets. Prayer is almost the greatest human privilege that we have.
what an absolutely perfect and beautiful picture of the God that his word tells us he is toward us. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And, and we hope through the music today and, and through this lesson and through all that we're a part of this day that you and I will leave with hearts that are filled of praise to our wonderful God. But what amazes me is that so many people have a wrong image of who this God is. Some see him like this. He's kind of a touchy-feely, ethereal, floating-in-the-sky God who touches fingers with people because he loves so much, and he's kind of, kind of gushy with that love. And, and, and yes, God is love, and yes, he created us, but some people see him almost as just a, a God who, who just lets everything go and everything's fine. And others see him as a harsh God. An angry God, a, a God who's, who's mad at us, who wants to get a club out and hit us every time we do something that doesn't please him. And others see him as a, a, a creature that's created by human beings as an idol out of stone, or uh, they worship water, or they worship the moon, or they worship the sun, or the stars, or some wooden object that they've whittled out with their own hands. How? Sad, that is. And some may even see God as this, <laughs> uh, kind of an American idol. In other words, uh, I kind of worship people. That's what I live for. People are what, what I, my life is all about. I, I hear these guys say, oh, I couldn't live without her. She's all that I live for. She, she makes me full and complete. And, and then I see them in the divorce courts a couple of years later saying, she wasn't all that I thought she was cooked up to be. He wasn't all that I thought I married. So many people have wrong ideas about what their life is to be lived for, about the God that they give their life to. But if you have a proper picture of God, then you see God as one who loves us so deeply that he longs to bless us continually. He loves us so deeply, like a father with a child, that he wants only the very best, the greatest blessing for us in our lives. You see that all through the Bible. I mean, God created Adam and Eve, the very first people on this earth. And he said, I want to bless you. I want to bless you indeed. I want great things for your life. And, and, and he gave them everything and they sinned against him. So he kicked them out of the garden, but he still wanted to bless them. And he, he said, I'm going to be with you. And he gave a promise of forgiveness of sin by a covering that he put on them. And he, he said, I want you to go out and just conquer this earth. I want you to subdue it. Enjoy it. It's yours to use. And then God went to Abraham. And he said, Abraham, I'm going to give you a seed, a son. And, and from that seed, the whole world's going to be blessed. You're going to be a blessing to every nation on this earth. I mean, God's desire is to bless us and to give us the best, and we can count on him to do that as we obey him. James chapter 1, verse 25 puts it so well. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says, and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. In other words, as we know him and believe in him and love him and then follow his way, he says, you watch, I'll go before you, I'll prepare the way, I'll protect you, I'll provide for you, and I will bless you. And so the Bible is very clear in many different places to tell us that blessing often comes to us, usually comes to us, as we pray the right prayers. Because as we pray, ask God and believe, it's amazing what he can do. In the Old Testament, it's put this way in Jeremiah 33, 3. Ask me, and I will tell you remarkable secrets, secrets you do not know about things that are going to come. Just ask me, and I'll reveal stuff to you. I'll show you the way. I'll bless you in it all. 
And in the New Testament, we read it this way, John 16, 23 through 24. The truth is, you can go directly to the Father and ask him, and he will grant your request because you use my name. That's why we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Is because when we go in the name of Jesus, not in the name of some human or not in our name, but in the name of Christ, we go to the Father. We have direct access to him through the Son. And he says, you haven't done this before, but now ask using my name and you will receive and you will have abundant joy. So today we're going to learn about a person in the Old Testament. And for actually the next four Sundays, we're going to be studying about the fact that this guy knew how to pray and how to pray right. And because he prayed and believed God, God was able to do what he asked. We learn his story over in 1 Chronicles in the Old Testament, chapter 4. And what's interesting about that chapter, I've probably shared this with you before, but it always amazes me. 1 Chronicles chapters 1 through 9 are probably nine of the most boring, or maybe for some people there are the most exciting verses in the Bible, only because all that they are about for nine chapters is people having kids and their kids having kids and just all kinds of procreation going on, you know? So-and-so begat, so-and-so begat, so-and-so begat. And so you see hundreds of people being born and then living their lives and having more and then going off the scene. We don't know anything about most any of those names except one name. Because right in the middle of chapters 1 through 9, chapter 4, verses 9 through 10, is the most amazing thing. God singles out one person from the hundreds. One person. And he says this about that. 1 Chronicles 4, 9 through 10. There was a man named Jabez. One man. One person. Then he adds, who was more honorable than any of his brothers. In other words, when God looked at this guy, this guy was more honorable than the hundreds. Now we ask why. It says Jabez was his name because his birth had been so painful. But then it adds, he was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. In other words, this guy knew how to pray. And he prayed the right prayer. It has four parts to it. Here's what he said. Oh, that you would bless me. And and in that is the idea of an extreme blessing, an extra blessing, an intense blessing. In the original language, it has that intensity to it. Oh, that you would bless me indeed. I don't just want a common, ordinary blessing. Not just like we say, oh, God bless you when we sneeze or when we do something. He said, no, I want you to bless me indeed, and I want you to expand my territory, and I ask God that you would be with me in all that I do and that you would keep me from all trouble and pain. So today, let's look at the first prayer, and we'll see the others the next three Sundays. But this first prayer was so cool. It was so important, and it was so blessed. He trusted God, he prayed the right prayers, and what he asked first was that God would intensely be kind to him and bless him in whatever way he knew would be best for Jabez. Lord, in other words, don't let me miss out on a thing that you want to do in and through my life. Every time I think about this, I, th- this is something that just consumes me, is the importance of each individual life. You look at any person, I want you to know that person's created in the image of God. That means that person is a person of significant worth and eternal value. And there is potential in that person that maybe no one else on the face of the earth has because God has created that person for a very personal, intense, wonderful work. And what Jabez was saying is, God, I believe I'm one of those people. (laughs) 
I believe you created me with a purpose and a plan and a desire. And I believe you want to bless me. So I'm asking you not just to bless me, but bless me indeed. And so Jabez prayed this prayer, believing three truths about God. And so every time we pray, God bless me indeed, we've got to believe three things. Number one, blessings are ultimately from God. They're ultimately from God. Uh, it says in First Chronicles 4, it says, He, that's Jabez, was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. He didn't pray to his counselor. He didn't pray to his pastor. He didn't pray to his parents. He didn't pray to his boss. He said, Oh, you, Yahweh, God of Israel, oh, that you would bless me indeed. He knew that God was the one who gives the blessings. It doesn't come from anything on this earth. It comes from God. And that's why James chapter 1, verse 17 is so important. Because it says this. Whatever is good and perfect comes to us from God above. In other words, all the blessings that come into our lives, you know who gives us those? It's not my parents, though they're important. It's not my boss, no, that's important. It's not my church, though that's important. All of that comes from God above. He's the one who created all of heaven's lights. And unlike them, he never changes or casts shifting shadows. <laughs> He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will never leave me. He will never forsake me. He is faithful, and he keeps his word forever. Now we ask, why is it that God wants to bless us so much? Well, there's three reasons that I would say. Blessings are given because God loves us. And he just wants his best for us. Isn't that what every parent wants for their child? I want the best for you, my son. I want the best for you, my daughter. I don't want you to miss out on anything. God wants the best for us. But secondly, he knows this, and this is why he blesses us. He knows as he blesses us and we follow him, then we can be used to bring blessing to others. See, we're blessed to bless. We don't get these blessings just so we can hoard them and put them in our lockbox and keep them all to ourselves. God blesses us so we've got more than enough to bless others in time and talents and treasures and love and prayers and service. It's amazing how God blesses and uses that. And then third, he knows that the more he blesses us and uses us the more it brings glory to his name. And God has created us, yes, to love us, and yes, to bless us, but so that all of it would go back to him. The one who gives it all, it would all go back to him. And we would say, all glory to you, just like our song said when we began, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. It's amazing what God wants to do for us. But you know what's even as amazing? Is how many times we're afraid to ask God for his blessing because we almost are afraid of him blessing us because if God blesses me, then I might have to go be a missionary in Timbuktu or I might have to give away part of what I've received or I might have to get involved in someone's life that I don't like. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? We're almost afraid sometimes to ask for blessing when he wants to give us so freely. But I'll tell you something about Jabez. He wasn't afraid. He didn't care what that blessing meant. He didn't care what that blessing would cost him. He didn't care where that blessing would lead him. He wasn't afraid. He knew the truth of what God said to Moses over in Exodus 34, verse 6. God said, I am Yahweh, the Lord the God of compassion and mercy. I am slow to anger, but watch. I am filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. So the first thing Jabez believed about his God was that God's desire 
is to give us great blessings. And all of them come from him. Every good thing that happens in our life comes from him. The second is this. He knew blessings are given to those who ask. He knew he had to pray. <clears throat> For some reason or other, God wants to bless us, but he says all throughout the Bible, here's how those blessings come. When you pray and trust me and recognize where they come from. So prayer is all important in receiving God's blessings. We read in Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 11. Now this is a little longer portion, but stick with me on it because it's so important. It says, keep on asking. Now, the, you know, some people have turned that into vain repetition, and so they just repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again to where it almost becomes monotonous and doesn't mean anything. But God is never upset when we sincerely keep trusting him and asking him. There's a difference between vain repetition and sincere, earnest prayer that really trusts God to do his work. And so in Matthew, it says, keep on asking and you will be given what you ask for. Keep on looking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And the door is open to everyone who knocks. And then <laughs> the Lord gives us this powerful illustration of parenting. He says this, you parents, <laughs> if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Or if they ask for anything, do you give them just whatever you want to give them? Of course not, he says. He says, if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, if you and I down here know how to do it, well, think with me, he says, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask him? God's just overflowing with blessings. And he says, I want you to ask me to bless you, but not just bless you, bless you indeed. An intense kind of blessing. And that blessing comes when we recognize who the blessor is and how we get those blessings through prayer. And then there's a third part of this prayer. And that is the truth about God starts with a question that we have to ask and answer. Here's that question. Am I willing and available to ask God every day, God, do more. Give me more for your glory. God, thank you for all you've done. What a blessing. Now, do more, because he knew there's no limit to his God. And I will tell you, at my age, you know, I'm still in ministry because <laughs> I should be out either playing golf or fishing or being a grave somewhere <laughs> at my age. You know, why I'm still in ministry because I believe that the best is yet to come. God has more for you. God has more for me. God has more for us together than we've ever dreamed or imagined because that's the kind of God we serve. There's no limit to him. He's always got more. And so Jabez was praying, God, I believe you can do more than you've ever done. Even though you've done unbelievable things, you can do more. God, give me more and let it all be for your glory. You see, Jabez knew where his blessing came from. And like God said to Zechariah over in the Old Testament, chapter 4, verse 6, Jabez understood this truth. It is not by force, nor by strength, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. It's not by what you and I can do or who we are or what strength we might have or even what past we've had that's been blessed. Anything that's to happen today, anything that's going to happen tomorrow, it's all because 
God chooses to pour it down on us. And he does that in answer to the faith that we manifest in him through prayer. Jabez prayed, <laughs> Oh Lord, that you would bless me indeed. According to your will, according to your will, I'm praying. Lord, I'm praying. According to your word, according to your word, you hear me. heart according to your heart you answer when I pray Father bless me in need you're all that I need expand my horizons beyond what I see put your hand upon me and keep me from evil today plan according to your plan I'm waiting oh I'm waiting according to your hand according to your hand you lead me So there are two thoughts I'd like to close our lesson with today. The first is this. It's a principle. If we do it, we get what we can do. If God does it, it's unlimited. Because you see, our God is unlimited. I can only do what I can do. That's limited. He's unlimited. The second principle is this. When we pray... We need to believe just like Jabez. And if we believe, we can receive the very same thing that he received. Because the end of his prayer, it says this, and God granted him his request. Friend, I want for your life and for mine, God wants much more importantly for your life and for mine, <laughs> He wants us to be blessed indeed. May we not miss out on a thing that he has for us. That's why this month of May, we mailed you a card that looks something like this. And it's called Five and 2020. Uh, how to pray over five and to show care to 20 people. And on that, we have five spots. The first one says Simple Church. Because we really 
are asking you this month of May to be praying for our church. We, we're working on so many ideas that God has given us through this pandemic, and, and, and we're seeking to understand His will for the timing to open up the church, how to, however we choose and are led to do that. But to reopen Simple Church and be able to be back together again as God wills that, we need wisdom and we need His, his faith. We need his hand of guidance and provision. So please be praying for Simple Church and for those of us on the ministry and lead team and for all the servants in our church that we'll know God's direction and timing and that we will follow him completely so he can bless us indeed like we've never been blessed before. But then there's room for four other people for you to pray for, that that you put on there and and you're praying for them and you're asking God for their lives, for his best in their lives. Maybe some of them need to come to know Christ as Savior. Maybe others need to really grow in in their love for the Lord and their knowledge of his way. Whatever it is God lays on your heart, write their names in there. Let's use this month of May as our opportunity every day to pray for those people and ask God's good work in their lives. I also would ask you to be in prayer for our leaders because this month, probably next month, and who knows how long, uh, the leaders of our world and the leaders of our nation need unusual wisdom and guidance. And God says, pray for your leaders and you pray that they may able, be able to bring peace and, and, and direction for your nation so that the word of God can go out and so that your lives can be blessed and you can live in peace. Just as Jabez learned, if you pray, God answers. May we learn and may we pray for our five and may we pray for our leaders and may we pray for our nation and may we pray for Simple Church. Um, just ask God. Or if, if you go to another church, pray for your church that God will bless and use his word and use his people to just spread his glory throughout all of the earth. God wants to bless you. And our prayer is that he will bless you indeed. Hey fam, it's me again. And before we go, I just want to say thank you for joining us today. As always, our hope is that today's service has been a blessing to you. Whether it was during the message or during worship, we hope that you have felt connected to Jesus in a unique way. And and whether it has been through the chat or it's gonna be in the Zoom room here in a little bit, our prayer today is that you would leave feeling connected with each other. And so speaking of the Zoom, like I said, I'm gonna be sharing that link here in a minute so you can join me in the chat as well as the rest of our church family as we catch up on life and continue the conversation over the message today. But before we do that, I just wanna remind you of some of the other ways that we are staying connected throughout the week. On Mondays, we got ladies night. Where are my ladies at? Throw a comment in the chat. 7.30 p.m. on Monday nights on the Zoom. Guys night, uh, Tuesday nights at 7. We're hanging out and just growing as men, coming together to talk about life and talk about what it means to be godly men. And on Wednesdays, Tom and I are hanging out on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. to talk about just things that we've been thinking about, sharing coffee and combo, and so I encourage you to join in on that. Thursday nights, my wife and I are hanging out on late night live, just having some fun and sharing some laughs together. And this week, I'm excited because we are doing a late night date night, sharing with you just some dates that have been a blessing with us and hope that it'll be a blessing to you as well. And finally, on Saturday morning, we're gonna be hitting up Facebook Live again, Tom and myself, as we just share a morning Devo that we hope will bless you and send you off into a Saturday of just silence, of spending time with family and with our Creator, our Father. And so, here's the deal. 
here's the deal. This is why I share all this with you. It's so important that even though we can't be physically present with each other, we can still have a presence in each other's lives. And that is such a big deal because we truly believe that when we keep connected to Jesus and stay connected with each other, a community that's centered around him, it'll lead to amazing life change. And more than ever right now, that is that is needed. And so I can't encourage you enough to join us this week in, in all those different ways, whichever whichever one you can go to, whichever one speaks most to you, but, but pick one, pick at least one to join and stay connected this week. And then we'll look forward to seeing you again next Sunday right here on simple.online. Dot church. But for now, we're going to hit the Zoom room. So go ahead. I'm sharing that link right now in the chat. Click that. Can't wait to see you there. Catch up and continue our conversation. Love you guys. See you there.